All right guys, welcome back to Underdog Payton. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pay in Gasgol Thraga from the Prophecy of the Wolf box set. If you wanna keep up to date with anything on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button, just so you keep up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. All right guys, let's go take a look at how to paint Gasgol Thraga. Alright guys, so today we're painting Gasgol Thraka from the Prophecy of the Wolf um, box set. So basically what we're doing here, we've dry brushed the, well we sprayed the model black and then we're dry brushing it silver. What this is, is just a quick way of doing all your metals. Most of this is going to get painted up with my uh, my blue, because I'm doing Death Skull for man. So you're not going to see most of this, but I just thought it'd be a lot easier to dry brush the full model than going about picking out little bits. Basically what I'm trying to do is just show you how you can paint a model of this size with this much detail really quick with great effect. So there's all the model there just dry brushed with silver. That obviously gives you your natural shadows and your highlights and stuff. Uh, and what we're doing is just breaking that up as well with a bit of Balthazar gold just to give it a different look I suppose. Balthazar Gold, I think, is a really good colour once you wash it with uh, Agrax Earthshade. It gives a nice worn look, which is what I think you need for Orcs. And there we go, with all the uh, goldy brass colour painted in. So like I say, my clan is the, uh, the Death Skulls, so blue is the, the colour that you need for that. So what I've used is uh, my Crag Blue, basically it's going to go around, paint all the armour panels with blue, nice even layer is what you need, as Duncan says, two thin coats. So yes, yeah, so just go around your model, paint all the um, panels with your chosen colour. Try not to get it on the details that you've already base coated. But if you do, it's not a big problem. You can go back over and and uh, tidy it up. So there we go. So you might notice here the lighting is just rubbish. Um, I'm painting it at night, basically. And then a bit further along in the video, you'll see that it's a lot more clearer because I painted it in the morning. So I think from now on, I'm just going to have to do all my videos in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so you get a nice crisp... Um, video. So what we're doing here as well guys is painting the loincloth and the skull with Zandri dust and again guys thin coats of paint on here don't just be slapping it on you still want to see that nice detail in this model. And there we go all base coated in. I've painted some skulls in there as well and I've base coated the horns on the front with um, Mornfang Brown, just to get the, the base coat down for later on. So again guys, uh, there's not much skin really on this Gazgull Thracker model. Basically you get his head and a bit on the arm. So I've base coated that with wire flesh. I've skipped a step as well and I painted them cables in red just because it's just base coating uh, basically. <clears throat> so now the fun part begins applying a wash. So basically we're going to wash this full model with Agrax Earthshade. Now for you people who just want to paint this model get it straight on the tabletop, you could leave it here as a pose uh, after the wash um, part because it just looks battle damaged and worn and grubby and it does look pretty cool. Uh, we're going to take it a step further. So what we're doing here is highlighting all the edges uh, of the blue armour with Kalidor Sky and then we, once we've done all that we go a bit further with Fenrisian Grey. Now Fenrisian Grey is a nice light colour um, and it does look a bit bright on this model but what we're going to do um, to knock that back is basically put a, a glaze all over the blue uh, of Gullum and Glaze which we will be doing in a minute. So 
So this is the, what I was on about there with the uh, Fenrisian grey. Again, you just want on the extreme edges just to highlight them basically. So again, get your, your paint nice and thin. And then I do like this jagged little highlight on, on the armor panels. Just, it gives it a look of uh, like battle damage. I just, I, just, I just like it. I think it looks pretty cool. And there we go. That is all the armor highlighted. Easy as peas. So now what we're doing, we're going back over the green. So we base coated it with Wazdaka green. Oh, what is it? No, sorry, Wire Flesh. Wazdaka green. That Wazdaka's red. Uh, yeah, so Wire Flesh. Um, and then we're going back over it. And then we're going to do a 50-50 mix of Lorien Forest and Wire Flesh. And then we're going to do a 50-50 mix of Lorien Forest and Strachan Green. Just to give them extra highlights so you want to just touch the uh, the nose the upper lip uh, and round the jaw what you should do really with this model is paint <coughs> excuse me is paint it in sub assemblies um but me being me i just did it all at once <laughs> now what we're doing we're just dry brushing all of the cream uh, bone colour. Try not to get it on the silver or any parts that you have uh, finished painting basically because you don't want to be doing that again. <clears throat> now what we're doing as well, just a bit of a shabty bone for like an extreme highlight on top of that skull there. I love to know what model that comes from, because or what uh, animal or creature that came from, because it does look pretty cool. <clears throat> then we're just doing this little loin cloth as well. So here we go with the uh, Gullum and Glaze. And as you can see, instant, you can see the difference instantly there. Gives it a much richer uh, look and blue. Sometimes when you do like dry brushing or edge highlighting, or the way I've done it anyway, uh, it can look a bit uh, chalky, which you don't really want. This just flattens it all out again and makes it nice. Obviously, if you're glazing, you don't want the glaze to be running into like pools. You want it nice and um, thin on your on, on the colour that you're doing. So, if you see a big puddle, try and move it away. Basically, do the opposite of what you want a wash to do. So what I'm doing here as well on the silvers, I'm trying to just make it look like they're very sharp. So just dry brushing all the um, the edges there, especially on his claws. I wanted to do some dry brushing on there just to give it that shine, because if you look at knives or swords, they've got like a well, the shiny on the blade basically, um, and that's what I wanted to copy. But again as well, like I say, dry brushing can leave a, a chalky finish. So what I've done just on the edges of this uh, claws there is I'm painting in lead belcher just to sharpen them highlights up. Also putting it on the uh, the brass colour just to give it a battle 
one look if you think you've put too much on if you're quick enough you can just use your, your finger and rub it off uh, but again try not to get it on any other colors that you have finished painting so what we're doing here now is just painting the uh, the red going back over the red tubing with uh, my fist on red just to clean them up all we're doing is concentrating on the, the top part as well and then what we'll do is we'll do a 50-50 mix once we've done this Mephiston we'll do a 50-50 mix with Mephiston red and uh, Wazdaka red just as like an extreme not an extreme highlight but just to give it a nice like blend So there's two big massive horns on Gasgol Thracker. Um, so painting horns has been quite scary for me in the past. So I wanted to do these a bit of justice. So we painted them with Mornfang Brown first, then washed them with Agrax Earthshade. And then halfway up the horn again, we painted Mornfang Brown again. And then we did a 50-50 mix of Mornfang Brown and uh, Steel Aged and Drab. And then a 50-50 mix of Steel Age and Drab and XV88. But all this time getting closer and closer to the end of the horn. And a little tip as well, guys. Try When you're painting horns, try to just paint in one direction. Uh, and for me, I think you've got to start at the base and work your way to the tip. Because I feel all them jagged parts wants to be at the bottom. If Obviously, if you start at the other end, they will go... It'll, it'll look weird in my personal opinion but again as well make this as watery as you can maybe ease the consistency of milk something like that so for me it's three parts water one part paint um, and what that'll do when it dries it'll give an, like a, an automatic transition so you won't see like a, a harsh line uh, in between each colour then hopefully your model should look like this boom there we go guys so that is Gasgol Thracker all painted now the base is just um, Sterling Battlemire I think it is um, and then I just need to dry brush that with some Carrick Stone or XV88 depending on uh, what I've got to hand or what however your base and yours just do whatever you want. Alright guys, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later.